Right, yeah, well, my name's Keith Salmon. Um, I'm a, a, a painter who works down in Irvine, um, but I'm also registered blind. I um, uh, have a little bit of sight um, with which I do my paintings. Um, and um, I was asked by Sense Scotland to come here and, and take part as one of the judging panel, um, hopefully to give a, a slightly different perspective on the work. So what would you be looking for then, Keith, in, in, in terms of the artwork? Um, well, sort of, we're, there's sort of um, two sides. We're looking for, for pieces which um, sort of uh, challenge the perception of, of deaf blindness or sensory impairment. Um, but going around the show um, this morning, uh, and I, I find I'm, I'm looking for pieces that sort of jump out at me as good pieces of, of, of artwork. Um, and... It, it's um, you know sort of my first impressions and um, this fantastic selection of work here, uh, some really nice strong pieces, um, and a lot of the pieces you know I really sort of throw a, a kind of um, light on on the idea of, of, of sort of a, a sensory impairment. Well, as you've mentioned, you're um, an artist, you're registered blind. What uh, kind of subjects do, do you focus on, that, and, and do you try and challenge people's perceptions of visual impairment? Um, sort of, well, I, th I think it's it's um, it's trying to to produce um, or, or find pieces which sort of are are accessible um, both visually but also in a tactile way. Um, things that sort of stand out and as I say being visually impaired, um, some some pieces work sort of disappear into the background, and so um, pieces with strong contrasts, sculptures, um, they, they really kind of um, grab your attention, and, and uh, for me that's that's what's so important. It's, it's probably um, a common misperception that uh, blind and deaf people can't appreciate art um, without it being some sort of tactile art. Uh, what would you say about that? Uh, well, I, I, I think that um, a lot of a lot of sort of paintings um, uh, uh, are sort of very open to people with a visual impairment. Um, you don't need much sight um, to, to sort of get an awful lot out of, of artwork, um, even paintings. Um, you may not see them as um, your sort of fully sighted contemporaries would, but you see them in your own right, and therefore they're, they're just as important um, how you see them as, as, as how perhaps they appear to someone with, with full vision. Um, so I, I don't really think there's any different. You know, I, I, I see paintings perhaps differently, but, um, uh, you know, sort of I see different strengths in them possibly. Do you think audio description with an art is, a, is an, an important factor of uh, allowing blind and partially sighted and deaf people to appreciate art? Oh, I think that's a very good idea. Um, I've only come across um, sort of audio description uh, of, of artwork a few times. Um, and I have to say, to start with, I was quite sceptical. But um, the more I've, I've sort, of, uh, uh, sort of seen it or listened to it, it, it really opens a piece up to you. Um, it's just like sort of audio description of a film or a, a, a TV thing. Um, uh, it suddenly sort of gives you sort of um, a, a better sort of uh, idea of, of what a piece is like. And um, that, that's just got to add to your enjoyment. Have you tried it out personally yourself, audio description? Uh, Yes, uh, so well, I've, I've um, sort of uh, certainly had audio pieces of work audio described. Um, of my own work, um, just one piece um, with the Blind Art Collection, and, and that was um, a, a written description was was given of that in a recent show. And I found it, I, I, was, I was quite intrigued by how someone had described my own work. Um, I've never tried describing a piece that I've created, um, so it would be an interesting um, kind of idea. As a blind artist, Keith, do you ever get people, um, you know, reacting with surprise that, that you, you don't have um, full vision, but you are able to create art? Um, yeah, yeah, that happens quite a lot. I, I have, my studio um, is always open to the public. Anyone can wander in when I'm there. Um, and yes, I, I regularly get sort of um, people um, sort of who, who, who show surprise, you know, you know, how can you do that because you're visually impaired? Um, but I think, um, you know, if you want to do something enough, you can find ways of doing things, um, be it art or, or any other sort of any other sort of part of life. Um, having a, a sort of a, an impairment doesn't mean you can't do things. It just means you have to do them in a different way. Um, and, uh, you know, my, my sight was fine until 20 years ago. 
Um, and I found that I had to completely relearn how to do things. Now, it took me about um, eight or ten years before I got my confidence back. But again, it's, it's a, you have to approach things in a different way. And, and if you, you're prepared to, to change the way that you work or the way you do anything, then you can invariably you can carry on doing things. Um, it makes no difference. And that's all about what uh, the Hale and Keller International Awards are all about. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, sort of um, when you look around um, the, the, the show here, um, you know, the, there's so many different approaches. Um, there's work done by all sorts of people. And it, 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 it's about, yeah, it's about approaching things in a slightly different way. It's about sort of carrying on doing everything that everyone else does. Um, uh, and Helen Keller just... Yes, it, it, this this exhibition it, it just sort of brings it home to you, I think. And uh, finally, Keith, uh, for anyone listening who's thinking of coming along here to the Glasgow Concert Hall or to Touch Base to see some of the work that's been created for the Helen Keller International Awards, how would you encourage them to do so, sighted or otherwise? What will they experience? Uh, you'll experience a great show. Um, this isn't any different from um, a, a, a standard big exhibition. Um, the work is of extremely high standard. Um, it's it's got that extra bit to it because it, it, you know that it's it's um, to do with sort of sensory impairment, deaf blindness. Um, but as an art show, it's it's as strong as you'll see. It's it's got some fantastic stuff. So you, you know um, you'll be surprised. Uh, you'll be delighted because there's some very humorous pieces here. I, I think that's what uh, I, I've enjoyed a lot this morning. So um, yeah, good art. Um, and uh, a great variety. Okay, Keith Salmon, thank you very much for joining us today on Insight Radio.